Good morning. It's Monday, September 25th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Thy Word Have I Hid in My Heart, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. The entire 119th Psalm refers to God's word 43 times in its 176 verses. Reading this Psalm out loud, every time you take a breath, you're going to utter the phrase, Thy word. It's the design of the author to point to his own word as the benchmark for the way we humans should live what is called covenant life living a life faithful and fruitful in the promises and precepts of the kingdom of God. This touches virtually every aspect of a human's existence. It touches the good times and tough times, the times bathed in faith and the times of straying off the path, as well as the times of fear. But the weight of the psalm, for me, is summed up in this, Psalm 119, verse 103, How sweet your words taste to me, they are sweeter than honey. This is a teaching psalm, introducing God's people how to live in light of God's requirements as people of light, the goodness of God, as opposed to the darkness of God's evil enemy. One writer expressed it this way, Quote, the didactic, or teaching, songs expound the totally separate paths known from wisdom literature as the ways of, quote-unquote, the wise and, quote-unquote, the foolish, from covenant literature as those of the obedient and the disobedient, end of quote. To use the common means of expressing it, there are two kinds of people in the universe, those who trust God and live like it, and those who don't. A third possibility is those who slip in and out of both. They just can't make up their minds. The third possibility is actually quite flawed and quite common because slipping in and out is only a superficial residence in one or the other. It's failing to choose for an eternity to live as God's child or as the child of God's enemy. Scripture tells us it's impossible to please God except by faith. I would add, genuine faith. There's a difference between simply being afraid God will punish us for our sins so we behave for a while, and fearing God in the sense of reverence, respect, and therefore choosing to obey His commands for life and eternity by turning away from sin so you're able to live into that respect and reverence with obedience. Hiding God's Word in your heart is exactly how you do that. You read it every day. You study and meditate on God's Word. You pray like the writer of the 119th Psalm wrote, talking to God about your fears and faith, your successes and the times you messed up. You ask Him for faith to live as He wants you and the strength to oppose your own stubborn will. That's what spiritual warfare is all about not movements to challenge others' faith or practices, or shouting matches over evil stuff. It's dealing with your own rebellious heart. We're all born with that, and it separates us from God and each other if we don't root out that sin, or, more accurately, invite God to come root it out for you. His Holy Spirit is an expert at dealing with your heart. For you today, so... How's it going with that? Are you hiding His Word in your heart? Have you sensed God is moving in where there used to be rebellion and darkness? Meet you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.